Hi, my name is Keith and I am a minimalist collector. I am down to only a few decluttering projects left. Uh, unfortunately, I lost one of my decluttering videos uh, through uh, an error of mine. Always back up your data, uh, always back up your video as soon as you shoot it. Um, so, I've, these are kitchen drawers, so I just pulled the drawers out um, and been wanting to do this for a bit. I don't think there's too, too much in it, but um, they kind of look, uh, let's take a quick look at what they're like now. They need a bit of tidying. They're not overstuffed. Most of it actually makes sense, but I think there's still some stuff to go through. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, the easy one which is, the drawers themselves are actually quite heavy. Uh, the stuff in them isn't, isn't that heavy. So, uh, meat thermometer, that's a useful thing. Uh, we've got oven gloves, also useful. Uh, we have a, uh, let's see now, this is a Hell's Kitchen branded apron that I gave to my wife many years ago as a present. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the pile uh, probably to donate. So um, all of this in the kitchen uh, is subject to my wife's veto, but uh, I'm going to pick out some stuff that I think can go and then she can make a final decision on it. Uh, the other one is the matching Hell's Kitchen oven mitt that probably has never been used. Uh, she was big, a big fan of the show, uh, but who knows how long ago that was. Uh, there's, I wonder if there's a copyright on this. Uh, 2008 uh, was when it was a hot item on uh, TV. So probably just the one pair of oven mitts. Uh, we don't really have that many ovens nor our hands. Uh, so this drawer is now empty and really needs to be cleaned. There's a lot of little bits and such in it, so it needs a good wipe down. Okay, this is more of a junk drawer. This kind of is as close to a junk drawer as our kitchen has. Uh, so uh, I'll pull out the good stuff, the stuff that's usable first. So uh, aluminum foil, uh, cling wrap. A little tip if you don't know, aluminum foil that is clean, so not that has pizza gunk or anything like that on it. If it's clean, you just wrap something, uh, crumple that up and it's recyclable. Um, check your local, but uh, in general, aluminum foil is recyclable. Uh, two flashlights, uh, in case we have double emergencies, I guess. Uh, probably one of these needs to be in the drawer, one of them should be somewhere else, maybe bedside table, something like that. Uh, we so infrequently have uh, power outage, uh, but you know, you never know. This is a, this is a heavy duty piece of equipment here. <laughs> this is the one I would want in, a, in an emergency uh, or home invasion situation. That's, uh, that's got a lot going on. Packing tape. This isn't a packing tape place. Uh, I have a kit downstairs for packing up all the eBay things and such, which is where this belongs, uh, or tools, but this isn't the, the home for it. So let's find that so little spot. Okay, these all have to go to Wifey for consideration. Uh, these are, they're air freshener things or night lights. This one's a night light, these are air freshener things. I don't even know if we still use those. Um, they use like the, make your, this was a pet one actually. I think this was to like a calm cat or something like that to relax your pet. We have a very high strung uh, kitten who, uh, needs a lot of extra attention and a lot of chilling out. Uh, here is a brush that I do not believe we've ever used with our current cat. I think this is actually from the old cat, uh, from our previous cat, so uh, that will go into the consideration pile. Either we should start using it or we should turf it. Uh, speaking of which, this is a uh, LED cat toy. Um, that 
It doesn't have a battery in it. Oh, it does actually have a battery in it. Look at that. It's, uh, it's got a little... Um, I don't know that we've ever used that with our current cat either. Uh, here's also a little, this uh, is like a pill container or something. Got empty, who knows what we've been using it for, probably nothing. Uh, so I'm going to put those together and again, if we're going to actually use this with our cat, then awesome. Uh, if not, it is just rattling around, uh, taking up space. Uh, Elastic. You, you never know when you need an elastic, but probably that can just go. Uh, I don't think there's an elastic related emergency coming up anytime soon. Uh, let's see now, these are pet meds. Uh, so these need to also need to be considered. These are, uh, our cat had surgery earlier on in the year. Uh, so these are pain, pain meds. Um, and uh, probably they're not expired, but hopefully we don't, they're not something we need for her either. So that's something I'll talk to wifey about and we'll see if we actually need to maintain them. Uh, here's a catnip mist uh, that still has some stuff in it. Uh, our cat does go crazy for catnip as, as uh, cats do. So. That should be someplace, maybe she uses it and then just goes back in this drawer, but I suspect it's just been sitting at the back of this drawer. Uh, along with the cat's medications, we have uh, two oral, th oral um, dose needles. Uh, they're just for measuring and then you uh, put the medication directly in the cat's mouth. We have two of these though, so we don't need both of them for sure. Hopefully we don't need either one. Uh, this is almost to the bottom. Here is one. Here's my my just in case. Uh, these are uh, chopsticks, uh, just the disposable kind. They can't. They come with sushi or Chinese food. Uh, I'm sure that every once in a while, probably once a year, I get something and think it would be great if I could eat this with chopsticks instead of with my hands or with uh, a fork. Um, and then the next time I get a pair of chopsticks, I put them in here. Um, guess what? <laughs> That's never actually going to happen. Uh, I managed to eat that food without these, so they should just get tossed. Um, that will tidy up most of this drawer. Um, there may actually be a little room in this drawer to do something else with it, uh, because it's actually located right next to the, right next to the stove. Um, so it might actually be an opportunity to put something we do use more often closer at hand. Um, most of our uh, cooking utensils are actually kept on the other side of the uh, kitchen counters. So they're for, much further away than this drawer which is full of stuff we're not using. These drawers are really heavy. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly heavy construction for these drawers. Um, so even empty, they're quite heavy. Uh, this is the utensils, one of uh, several utensils drawers. We cook a lot, uh, and we don't have an outrageous amount of utensils. Um, we don't have, like, we're not into gadgets very much. Um, we've already disposed of most of the kind of single-use items, but this drawer's never been gone through. Um, so I'm curious what is in here. Uh, I'm sure there's things that we, do, we don't use, um, or there's duplicates. Uh, so, start off, uh, trust can opener, uh, I'm not a believer in an electric can opener, um, it's, it's not something anyone needs, honestly, this has done the job for hundreds of years and they're a dollar store item if it were ever to uh, break down on you. Uh, now, here's an item that I'd like, but uh, these are... Uh, the plastic rice bowl, are there for a rice maker. Uh, this would have been for our previous rice maker and this is for our current rice maker. So we definitely don't need both. Uh, one of them is a little heavier duty, so I'll toss the one that is the, the lighter one. Um, the purpose of these is uh, because uh, rice makers, if you use one, uh, they scratch really easily. And once they're scratched, the stuff will start sticking to them. So. 
this or a wooden spoon, of course, would work well. But they come they come with the rice maker. That's why we have them. We can buy them separately. Uh, so I'm going to keep one of these. Ice cream scoop. Um, I have tried to get rid of this, and uh, wifey doesn't want it to go. Um, I am I'm a believer that a spoon does exactly the same job as this item, so you don't need two things that do the same thing. Uh, but wifey likes a proper ice cream scoop, so uh, it's uh, it's not the hill I'm gonna die on. Uh, egg beaters, simple enough. Um, pizza cutter, also handy little item. Uh, wooden spoon. We've got a couple of wooden spoons. Uh, they just kind of they vary in what we use them for. One's got a wider top, a wider end for sauces and kind of things. So nothing unusual there. Uh, this is a knife sharpener. Um, this actually would be a great thing to put in that other drawer that now has some room opening up because this closer at hand, right next to the knife, um, the knife stand, would be quite handy as opposed to running to get this, carrying a knife to it, or carrying this to the knife. So that's going to go to a different home. Uh, let's see now. Uh, we do have two peelers, um, but that is because uh, we actually each prefer the different one. Uh, uh, we have an apple tree, and which you've seen in a couple of my earlier videos, and so when we're peeling, we need to peel a lot. So uh, both of these are going to stay because they are, uh, and we also need two at the same time when we're doing those apples. The apple corer, corer on the other hand, I'm not so sure about, so that one's going to go in the maybe go pile. Um, I've stopped using it, it's just kind of a pain. Um, honestly, I, I, it's so much slower than just chopping the sides off an apple. Uh, it's more work than it's worth to me. So that one's up on the block. Uh, this is a pastry thing, that stays. And let's see if I can put a whole set of... Here's another one that if it was me, they would go. Um, but my wife uh, cooks more than... Uh, she bakes more than I do, and these I suppose she uses for baking as opposed to just regular cooking. Uh, this is a set of measuring spoons. Again, from my way of thinking, a quarter, half, and one teaspoon and a tablespoon. We own a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Um, we don't need a separate thing that has the same, <laughs> that holds the same amount as the 20 tablespoons we already own. I, I will put it on the block, but I suspect it will come back in here. Um, not worth arguing over. Uh, this is the lid to something. I bet you it's a lid to something I donated uh, two videos ago. So that's going to go. Uh, let's see now. <laughs> now here's a, here's a couple of things. Uh, one of these... I think they're both for grapefruit. Um, comment below if uh, these are familiar items. Uh, I think this one is for... Like you half a grapefruit and then you go around the outside of it and then this is for actually like eating the grapefruit, it's it's got a, they've both got an edge on them. This one's sharper. Um, so I think this is actually for, I can't eat, it's two utensils for a food I never eat and that my wife doesn't like. It's not, not hard to make an argument on these. So that's in the, that's on the chopping block. Uh, this is never opened. Um, I think it was, it was part of a bigger container, uh, and I think it was like you shake it, like you put this thing in, and you shake it and it mixes up a shake or a beverage, something like that. Um, I don't really know what it is. This one's my fault. <laughs> this is a, it's a tiny, tiny uh, beater. It actually came with um, a whisk, I should say, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it came with like a chocolate milk kit or something, and I thought it was cute. Um, a 
cute is no reason that it's in here. It should be on like a, if I, if I thought it was that cute, it should be on a keychain or something. Uh, right now, uh, off to the landfill is where that's really going. Um, again, specific use things. These were, these were a gift. Um, so, you know, I've got to make that call. But these are uh, utensils for lobster. Uh, which my wife is has about once every two years. I don't actually have lobster um, here. I live in Western Canada where there are no lobster. I grew up and my family still lives in Eastern Canada where there are plenty of lobster and they're very, very tasty. But lobster is also incredibly expensive here, so I basically don't buy it. Um, I eat it all I can when I'm there, uh, which is why I got these as a gift. They're like, hey, he loves lobster. Um, but I'm not shipping these when I travel, so yeah, I think I think I'm gonna let them go. Uh, now, <laughs> okay, so here's a here's a thing. Okay, so this is here's here's a regular bottle opener. So that's a, got a beer top on it. Uh, here is a the little penguin branded um, bottle eh, corkscrew bottle opener. Uh, here is a bottle screw, bottle, uh, bottle, here is a corkscrew bottle opener, uh, and here we've got a corkscrew uh, bottle opener. Um, so I've got three corkscrews, this one's got a little corkscrew on the side of it, it's actually just the, the bottle thing. Uh, we have right behind me the little wine colored kit here is uh, one of the super duper fancy wine uh, cork screws. The ones that you, you know, you plunge in, pops the cork right out, no muss, no fuss. We've had that for years. Uh, it's wonderful. We also have a really cute bottle opener for uh, bottles that aren't screw tops that is on a magnet and is next to the fridge. Which leads me to question why we have four of these things uh, in, a, in the back of a drawer. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to put all of them on the pile if wifey wants to pull one back out because actually sometimes we do need one when we travel. Uh, most hotels don't have a corkscrew. You'd have to go to the front desk maybe. Um, we do wine tours and things. Uh, go to wine country in um, British Columbia. So maybe we save one of these. Um, but it really should go into a travel kit as opposed to into this drawer because we're never going to use it in the kitchen. Uh, and, and that's actually a good tip for any of these junk drawer things is um, it's not just about should you keep the thing, it's is this the right place for the thing. So I've got tool items spread around the house, I've got a corkscrew that we only would use traveling that is not anywhere near the travel stuff. Um, all of this is kind of it's counterproductive to staying organized and we are almost guaranteed to go on vacation without that, that corkscrew. Uh, and then probably that's how we ended up with four of them to start with is that we go, we buy wine at a, at a vineyard in BC and then we're like, oh, wait a second. Uh, we don't actually own, have a corkscrew with us and there's not one in the hotel. That's how that happens. And that's, and that goes into the same drawer next to the other ones. Uh, this is an instruction card for something we do not own. That's good. Um, and there's just a, the little box actually that you might have seen is nothing. It's a it's a spacer so that things don't slide around. I'm I'm a fan of uh, putting some sort of container, some sort of uh, guide into drawers so that everything doesn't just shift back and forth. Um, it kind of just keeps things organized. Um, and I find it a lot easier to quickly see things when I open up the drawer. Uh, another thing that we probably do not need is three pairs of scissors uh, in the kitchen. Um, one, one of these two, uh, one of these two would work fine. Um, this one, this one's more of like a crafty kind of scissors anyway. These are actually you know heavy duty utility scissors. So at least one of these can go, and, and maybe two. We'll see what, uh, what wifey says. So uh, I will have very little to put back into this. Um, 
I am going to, uh, I'm going to insert right now, I'll look at these drawers back in place, because uh, I want to clean them and stuff first. Uh, there's a lot of little bits of who knows what has gotten into these drawers. Um, and uh, so that's got to tidy up, so right here. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate the comments and uh, uh, make sure to tell people if you've been enjoying the videos, uh, please share them around, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to put the subscribe picture right here this time. And there's also going to be a link to probably down here-ish. There'll be a link to other videos in this series. Uh, so if you haven't caught, caught them all, uh, go back and check them out. Uh, visit my website, ilikehelping.com, Minimalism in a Nerdy World, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.